Today I'm going to be walking you through everything you need to get started with beading. Welcome, I do sewing and DIY related content and today I'm going to be showing you how I added some of these beading details onto different makes that I do, including these scrunchies, including some of these beaded pouches. Really you can do so many different things with it and we're going to be walking through it all, just showing you how you can really get started depending on how much you want to get into it. So if you really just want to add a few beads here or there, maybe to a pouch or to a scrunchie like I've done with these ones, or if you want to really try to accentuate some printed material and make it so that you know you're taking your fabric and kind of elevating it we're going to be walking through it all in this video and i'm going to try to make this be a little bit shorter just so that you know if you want to get started you know what you need so as you can see i have this bat scrunch here and one of the things that i absolutely love about this is that the beads just sort of gave it a little bit more dimension so instead of having all the fabric be the same i was just able to add those beads to give it a little bit of different look so when you are starting off beading, the first thing you're going to need is a needle and thread. So specifically, we are going to be using hand needle. I have gotten a pack of these from Walmart. You can get them at Fabrics, Amazon. And then for the thread, I love to use this 100% nylon thread. So basically clear plastic thread. It really helps to make sure that the beads pop on your fabric. And it's not necessarily you're seeing like the thread through the beads, especially if you're using lighter colored beads. This is not mandatory by any means. You can use whatever thread you want, whatever you feel comfortable with. I just find that this helps move the beads really easily when you're going through your fabric. Next, you're gonna want some scissors or some little clippers so that you're able to cut your thread. And then finally, you're going to need some beads. Now I have used all different types of beads for this, including some that I got from Michael, some I got from Joanne Fabrics, you can get them from beading stores, and I've also used different sizes. Now depending on the type of project you have, that's how you're gonna determine what type of bead you want. Do you want like bigger beads? Like I've used these black beads here. They are a little heavier. So for example, I did this on my scrunchie and because of how the scrunchie is, it kind of makes it flop a little bit. But when you put this in your hair, it does look really nice as it just lays against your head. But if you were using this on more of a delicate project, it may not look the best. Now these seed beads are perfect for little details. They are not heavy, so they do not really weigh anything down. So you can kind of use a lot of them without having to worry about your fabric really starting to sag. They are incredibly tiny though, and if they fall, they kind of get everywhere. So just be cautious of that if you're using them. You can see I did this on my Mystery Machine little headphone pouch, and they turned out really, really nicely, and they're really able to fill in a lot of those little gaps, and you don't have to worry about it looking too bulky or too big over time. It just gives it a really nice and clean and easy feel. I think that these beads are so fun and they look really pretty. I have gotten, like I said, you know, you can get these from multiple different places. Now let's say you just really want to kind of get started and you don't want to get a huge bead collection, that's totally fine. One item you could do is get like a children's friendship bracelet making kit, and a lot of the times those have mixtures of beads pre-done for you. So that's actually where I got all of these from. You can see that they come with different sizes and shapes of beads, and then you can kind of use these to make your own pattern. So that's what I did with this pouch here. It already had all the colors and variations included, and I just took what they did and then beaded it on. I find this as a really great way to get started as you're not having to put too much money or an investment into this beading by buying like you know each individual bead but you are able to get a mix understand you know like how the different shapes of the beads work and it just gives you a way to get multiple different colors without having to buy a ton and ton of beads i've used this multiple times now for different projects and it really helps me get started and gives you a way to not have to think too much about you know what type of bead do i want to go with what but it still gives you a really fun design I hope that this helped you see, you know, like different ways that you could add beads. For example, if you want to add it to like negative space on fabric to get a little more of a design, if you just want to add it to give like a little dimension to an already there design, or if you want to do it on solid fabric versus a fabric that has a print, it's just a really fun way, I think, to add a little detail and make it really stand out for yourself. If you have any other questions about beading, be sure to let me know. I have a video up for how to make these pouches, and there's going to be another video coming soon on how to make a beaded scrunchie. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.